project is based on a high school, a private high school in Jamaica. Now, there are so many things that we need to know about this high school or so many things that we should know about this high school before we begin to do our record keeping for this, for this high school. Now, the school's name is On a Mission High School. It's a private high school in Jamaica and has been in existence for the past 50 years. Now, this school caters to students from age 12 to 20 and their grade range is from 7 to 13. Now, the grade 7 to 9 group is referred to as lower school. The grades 10 to 11 is referred to as upper school, while the grades 12 and 13, which we normally call 6A and 6B, is referred to as 6 to 4. Now, your school's database should contain no less than 35 students but no more than 45 students. Today we're going to be working with approximately 40 to 41 students. Now, you are creating a computerized database for this school in order for the board of directors of the school to have a strategy that will allow them to collect school fees. Now, school fee has been an issue with the school for a long time where parents are not paying on time and in full. And in some cases, the school is unable to collect some of these fees. Now, the board chairman has commissioned you to create a word processing document, a spreadsheet document, a database management and programming application to ensure that parents will, will meet their uh, required obligations, right? So for example, a parent forgets that they have an outstanding balance, will now know that, yes, there's an outstanding balance. Now, this program is also designed to assist parents in paying through a payment method that will be instituted in your program. Now, this payment method is referred to as a back-to-school special and is expected to start in the upcoming school year. What are you required to do in your spreadsheet? Let's look at that. Now, for the first task in your spreadsheet, you are expected to, to, you are expected to, to design a spreadsheet that will accept payment data for each grade level which refers to lower school, upper school, and the sixth form. Your spreadsheet should accept a minimum, as I said, of 35 students and a maximum of 45. Now, some, some pertinent information here is that the grade 7 to 9, which is the lower school, their school fee is $25,000 per annum. For the grades 10 to 11, $35,000 per annum. And for the grades 12 to 13, which is your sixth form, $45,000 per annum. Now, let's look at our payment plans available. EFUL, or Early Full Payment Plan, which attracts a 10% discount on the tuition if payment is made before, before the start of the school year, which is September 1st. The other payment method, which is by payment, and that's a two-part payment plan, and that will attract a discount of 5%. Now, parents are required to pay a minimum of 50% at the onset if they are to be qualified for this 5% discount. Then there is your tri-payment method which is a three-part payment plan, and this option attracts a 7.5% interest, which will be added to the tuition fee. Now, what are you required to do? You are required to create a tabling spreadsheet that will record data for each student. 
Now, this data that is required are ID number, last name, first name, the student's gender, and the student's grade level. Right? We are then going to add a new column to determine the student's school fee based on their grade level. We're going to determine also the appropriate payment plan, use, use an appropriate function to display the percentages for discount or interest based on the payment plan selected. We are also going to calculate discount or interest to due for each student. We are also going to calculate the amount to be paid for tuition and we are going to be entering the actual amount to be paid by each student. So let's go. Let's start our spreadsheet. So we want a new blank document. Now the first thing you need to do all the time is to ensure that your personal data is on your spreadsheet. And in this case, we want to add our name, our school, our candidate number, We want to add our territory. So those are basic things that we need to ensure that we have on our spreadsheets. Now your school name is important. I am using Onamishan High School as an example. Your candidate number is your six digit center number and your four digit candidate number, which will be given to you when you've registered for the exam and should be on your timetable. Your territory is going to be the country that you are in. And in this case, it is Jamaica. Now, the next thing we want to do, guys, is to ensure that our spreadsheet has a heading. We need to know what it is that we are working on. So, we're, so the first thing I want you to have is the name of your school. In another line, a new row, you're going to give a brief description of what it is that you're doing. So we're going to say spreadsheet for school fee, for school fee payment. Right? So we have our editing. Good. We want to skip on row and we want to start our table structure. Now remember, the information that is required to do our first table is our ID number, last name, first name, gender, and grade level. So here we go. So we have, then we have last name, first name, gender, and we have grade level. Now, let's begin to enter data into our spreadsheet. So here I'm just gonna fill in my data because I had pre-prepared my data already. So I have inserted my student ID number. Let me just extend this column so you can see clearly. My student ID number, first name, or rather last name, first name, gender, and the school level, right? So, let me just, so you want to format your headings a little bit. So I want to ensure that I have all borders. I want to make it bold. And here I want to change all the text in the spreadsheet to Times New Roman. To Times New Roman. 
lemon and I want to make it fun size 12 for the size now I'm gonna be fixing up this a little bit because I want to spread my data across my sheet but I need to know how many columns I'll be working with so as soon as I have decided how many columns I'll be working with I'll insert the rest of the data so here we have our data so I want to change the name of my sheet to So I want to make that task A. Now, let's see what else is necessary for us to do for this task. So I want to go to my sheet and it says, I am to add a column to determine the school fee based on the grade level. Good. So I want to add a column to determine the school fee based on the grade level. So here I'm going to have school fee. Now here I'm going to be inserting some rows. I'm going to be putting in a table. So I'm going to be inserting some rows. So I want two tables. And for the two table, I want it to be payment methods. And I want another table that is called school fee. Now here, I'm going to have my first payment method, which is E4. I want to use capital letters. I'm going to have by payment. And then I'm going to have try payments. For the E4, we're going to have a 10% discount. For the buy payment, we're going to have a 5% discount. But for the trade payment, we're going to be adding 7.5% to the school fee. Now, you notice I use a, a minus um, sign because I want to ensure that it picks up as a discount as a subtraction discount right so for my school fee table I want to go lower school I don't want to join them together I want to separate them so I want to say upper school and I want to say six four for my lower school fee, that's going to be 25000 35000 for my upper school, and 44000 for my sixth form. Come on. So we want to format this a little, and we want to format it to dollar value. And we want to create just a little bit of table here. I like to spread to merge and center so that it is right across the columns. So just doing a little bit of formatting here. Right? So I want to ensure that we have that good, nice and good. So I want to just put some speed. So I want to go through. Let me copy. I want to replace. Find and replace. So I want to find lower school and I want to replace it with lower school. Good. So I want to do upper school and I want to replace it with making this change because it's necessary and then I want to find this form and I want to replace it for I want to make sure my thing looks nice and neat
to find my school fee I want to use a simple formula and the simple formula I'm going to be using is what we call a VLOOKUP now VLOOKUP pretty much is going to search through this table to match lower school upper school and sixth form with their value all right so the formula starts with the equal sign and we have VLOOKUP I want to click here right so I'm gonna search for this data and I'm gonna be looking through this table to come up with this data now I do not want the values to change I want it to search only these two columns so in order for me to do that I must make this this range of cells absolute and to do that, I'm going to ensure that there's a dollar sign in front of the E and a dollar sign in front of the 10. And the same thing for your F12. And to do that, I'm just going to hit the F4 key on the keyboard. Then I'm going to tell it I want it to look in these two columns only. So I'm going to tell it to look in those two columns only. And I want to also tell it that if there's a value, so you must determine whether the value is true or false so if it is true you return the true value if it is false you leave it alone good and so lower school value is 25,000 good so I want to just use the formula uh, well autofill to fill in my data so I'm just gonna select this this uh, fill handle here so you this little dot and you put your mouse point so you get this plus sign you hold down your mouse and you pull all the way down to the end of your information and see it looks for the information for you and returns a true value so when it finds a sixth form it returns a value for a sixth form when it finds upper school it returns the school fee value for upper school and so on now this is really nice formula to use and autofilling makes it even more fun to do now i want to format this column because i want to ensure that everybody knows its currency so i select that and i choose currency now unfortunately i don't like it when my dollar sign is so so far away from my values so i tend to come here and i choose how I want it done and I say that I want the dollar sign and then when I do this it looks a whole lot better so let me do the same thing here so I want it to look like so this is what I want it to look like this sample here good so I'll select that and I'm good to go now so I have created a uh, sections of my table so I have my student ID my last name filled in my first name filled in I have my gender I have my grade levels filled in and now I have my school fee filled in good so the next thing we want to do is to determine the appropriate payment plan good so we want to determine the appropriate payment plan and to determine this appropriate payment plan we are going to be using so it's payment method or payment plan whichever one you choose so I'm gonna call it payment plan smaller 
right so here I want to I'm just gonna cut it shorter so I'm gonna say payment plan now let me just ensure that I format it to get my border so it looks nice and neat now here we have our payment method so here i'm just going to choose who i want to be a full who i want to to be paid um to, to pay by payment uh, in two parts who i want to use for the try payment method good and i'm just gonna fill this in so here i have created my payment plan good so now i have my payment plan to work Alright, so all my students now have a payment plan. Wonderful. Now let's look at the next step that we must see. And it says, use an appropriate function to display the percentage for a discount or interest based on the payment plan selected. So let's go. So we want to determine if the person gets a discount or interest good so in this case guys we're going to be using VLOOKUP once more now bear in mind that wherever you use a VLOOKUP you can also use an if statement to determine those values good I find that using VLOOKUP is a little more simple simpler than using the if statement which would have to be nested if statements so here I'm going to look through this table to determine if the person gets a discount or pays interest. Alright, so let's go. Equal V up. So it comes up. I just double click. And I'm going to be searching for by payments. Wanna say comma here? I want to look through this table. Now I want to find this by payment method in this table. Once it finds it, it should return the value to me. So I'm going to look down, search through these two columns to determine if the person gets a 10% discount, a 5% discount, or pays interest of 7.5%. Good. And I want to ensure that my search is limited to just these three rows and these two columns. So I'm going to make this range of cell here absolute. And I press F4 on my keyboard to do that. Now I want to tell it that I want to look in just these two columns for the data. And I want it to return a true or false value when it finds the data good so here i go and you notice for by payment it's 0 0.5 percent 0 0.05 percent and so i'm just going to use my autofill option to fill all the cells going down and so i'm going to be selecting the fill handle here this option here i'm going to be selecting the fill handle click hold on my mouse and I'm going to drag it down until I have gotten to the end of the list now you notice for my try payment it says a plus this is a positive value of 0 0.075 percent so this tells me automatically that I will be adding 0 0.75 percent to this value for the school fee no great right so I'm ensuring that it doesn't round it off because I don't want it to round it off to 8% I want it to stay at 7.5% now so far and guys always don't let me forget always save your work at intervals so I want to save mine I'm gonna hit the save key and I'm going to save it and I'm going to call it my payment one my payment
payment one and I want to call it also add task A and I want to save it to my hard drive. I want to save it to my storage device. So I want to say on a mission high school and this I want to see the name this folder on a mission. So I want to put my document here because I want to ensure that each time I work, if current should go or if something should happen, I do not lose my information. Good? Now, the next thing we want to do is to calculate the discount or interest due for each Students. Good, so we want to calculate the interest due for each student. So here it goes. So we want to calculate. So we're going to call it again discounts or interest pay. Now I want to wrap this text. I want to just spend this a bit. And I want to format my table so that it looks nice and neat. So, in this case guys, I am going to be using... So I'm going to be using simple formula to determine how much interest or discount is paid. So here it goes. So I want to press my equal sign. I want to select my cell. And remember guys, selecting the cell prevents you from making simple errors. I want to select both cells because we're doing multiplication. So I'm going to be multiplying my school fee by my interest or discount to be paid. So I hit the enter key. And I want to use my autofill function again. And I want to fill all of this because it is so much easier than having to type all of these information. Right? So you'll notice that here it is deducting $1,200 from the school fee. Here it is adding $1,875 to the school. So guys, here I want to distinguish between my interest and my discount. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose to put my interest amount in red text and my discounted amount stays in black. Good. So wherever you see red, you recognize that this is a deduction. So this is discount given and this is interest to be paid. So we need to know. So we're nice and, and easy. Good. So most persons will be getting a discount rather than an interest. Now, here, the next thing we're asked to do, the next thing we need to do is to calculate the amount to be paid for tuition. So let's calculate the amount to be paid for tuition. So I'm going to call that school fee. Good. Now, to cap, let me just format this so that it still looks nice and neat. So for the school fee due, it would be discount or interest plus school fee to be paid. Good. So it is discount or interest plus school fee to be paid. So we get the amount of school fee that is actually due. And I'm going to be using a simple formula 
I'm going to say school fee and if I always say select the cell so you make no mistakes and then I'm going to click on this cell here and I'm going to enter so it automatically deducts the discount from the school fee and I'm going to be using my fill handle here to fill my formula to all the other cells that makes life a whole lot easier for me good so now this is the amount of money that you do let me just fix up this a little oh no but let me leave that all right so this is the amount of money that is actually due by each student good all right and let's do the other thing that we need to do now and that is to determine how much of this amount of money did parents actually pay right so we're going to say school fee Okay, so we want to wrap that, we want to extend a little, good now guys you know this, this it's much easier if you select the cell and go to format and just auto fit color but I'm so used to using my fill hand, my stretch my mouse. So I want to make this nice and neat just like everything else so here I want to just put in a figure right remember for your by payment you're expected to pay at least 50% you can pay more or less good for sorry more but not less for your try payment method you're expected to pay in three parts now you can pay one third or you can pay a little more than one third and that is dependent on you for your full payment you are expected to pay in full right good just put in a figure here so I'm gonna pay 12,000 data or my payments I want to ensure that this represents currency so I'm just gonna format this to currency and I want it to be two decimal places and I want it to look like this so here I am done with that so far so I have all my data so let's check so I've determined the appropriate payment plan. I have calculated interest or discount. I have calculated the amount to be paid for tuition. I have entered the actual amount to be paid by each student. So now for my payment one, I need to calculate the totals for all tuition, discount, interest, and actual payment to be made. Now, so let's get back to our spreadsheet. So here we want to calculate the total, and I just want to put it here. So I want to say totals, and we're going to be calculating totals for all columns. It says tuition, discount, interest, and actual payments. So here I'm going to use the sum function. So I'm going to select all the sum. I'm going to say sum, and it is going to automatically select all the figures going all the way up. And I'm just going to hit my enter key. And then I'm going to use my fill handle to auto fill. Now, when you see this, this tells you that your cell is not wide enough to hold the figures, so you just extend yourself so that you can see what is happening and like i say i like to have my thing nice and easy nice and neat right so i'm going 
Now you could have done this all the way across, but that's fine. So here, and I want to go this a little to highlight it. Now I need to extend that. And I want to hit my save key again to ensure that I have saved all the work that I have done. But I'm not done yet. Remember this section here that we spoke about? And I told you I wanted to ensure that I can format my data properly. I want to put it all the way across to all my cells. Right? So I want to select all of that and then I'm going to say merge and center. Now I want to use a different style of writing for it. No, I like this. I'm going to use that. I'm going to increase the size of the text a little. So I'm going to see on a mission and I want to do the same thing for this cell here. Right? I want to merge and center. So I want it across just the same. And I'm just going to increase this to size 14 as well make it bold and let it stay in times new roman that's quite fine so voila and i can do background so i want to put some color good fine i want to highlight so these are optional methods that you can use right so to show off um your your database i can also choose to put background here so i can choose uh, let me see i don't want it to be too colorful so i'm going to select green as well right and so my spreadsheet looks pretty nice so far good now i have all the data that I've been asked to enter and I want to ensure that all my cells are using the same font face so it's 12 and it's times new roman for all of my fonts and my spreadsheet is nice and neat so I want to see here I'm gonna want to pull them with just to ensure that I have my data looking nice and neat and so, ladies and gentlemen, this is task A, payment number one, and I want to save all the changes I need. And so, payment number one is completely finished. Awesome. So, next, when I see you again, we'll be looking at what is required for payment number two which will be task b okay so until we meet again happy spreadsheeting